You know what does seem like it's serving the purpose, though, Sabrina, is Dune 2! Because the trailer came out, the newest one for Dune 2, and I'm talking about a franchise that's actually doing it right, and I'm talking about Dune because, honestly, if you've seen this trailer, I couldn't keep my eyes off it. It was it was awesome. I Actually, if you're looking at, like, the first one to the second one, like, forget the first one. The first one was cool. It was cinematic. It was visual. It was great, but it was so like a snail. This looks like it's fast like a rabbit, and I'm all about this battle because you got fighting for centuries. You got the time for the prophecy to come true. You got Timothy Chalamet looking better than Willy Wonka, I would say. I would just say better here than Willy Wonka as the Duke of Arrakis kicking some ass and, you know, getting revenge on like his father who didn't really the revenge. This is a different kind of character. And of course it's based off the Dune book. So we have source material that's phenomenal too, which I know Sean read. So we'll get Sean's pro- prospect or his percep- perception on oh, this in please. a second. Oh, but, please. But, I'm chomping at the bit but, over here. I will tell you, Christopher Walken, I think was a great choice for the emperor in this. Like he gives me like vibes of like Palpatine in a way. Like he's just so like subtle and slow. It's very unlike Christopher Walken of today and more like Christopher Walken of like deer hunter days. Yes, it was so cool to see him. Even Austin Butler with his bald cap. I thought he was phenomenal in this trailer, like kicking some ass, stabbing some bitches, fucking people up. Josh Brolin, Javier, Jack Sparrow, Javier Bardem (laughs) kicking some ass. I think he was great too. More Chalamet, Jack Sparrow. Uh, He's great in this. And it comes out (laughs) November 3rd. And honestly, I I can't wait. I think it's going to be a great win for, again, for Warner Brothers. Because Warner Brothers does need a big win too. Oh, there you it's go, a, Kevin. It's a big mo- Kevin, we there found the win. I it's think Dune. Dune. it's right win, there. Kevin. November. It's I Dune. think it's going Kevin. to be Dune too, and it yeah. looks phenomenal months, buddy. to Four the max. Months. In the words of Carter James and Lookmaster. Uh, so, reading the books, Sean, because you read the books, does this seem like it's accurate for that? Do you think that this is the right interpretation you've been dreaming of, or do you want to go back and watch the '80s one instead? I think that. Wait, wait, this wait, is Sean. I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt you. I just oh. want to acknowledge Kevin's comment really quick. So you, oh. you on, I'm just, I want to ask him a question. So you don't think that, um, I mean, Willy Wonka, I could see not really making money, but you don't think Dune part two is going to make money at the box office. I mean, color purple, I could kind of see it's like a little bit musical. Like I'm actually musicals kind of do good. I don't know. I'm torn on that. Wonka, I could see, but you don't think Dune's going to make money. Isn't Dune like one of the most anticipated movies? Sean, this is also to you. Kevin, yeah. you can answer yeah, in the chat. You. Like, isn't Dune like super anticipated? Like, isn't this like you're a Dune head? Let me know. Like, what? What's let's get Kevin on stage, Brian. Let's get him up here. I know we need Kevin. Phone him in, Kevin. Come on in, Kevin. Phone him in, Kevin. Call in, (laughs) call into the show. That's what we need a call in line. Um, We need a hotline. We need a hotline. I agree with you, Brian. Like, I think the first movie, fantastic job of setting the world, setting the scene, the characters, the conflict, but it was very faithful to the source material. The first part of Dune, book one of Dune, is a very slow lineage discussion and figuring things out and and you're learning about the challenges that the Empire's facing and all that kind of shit. Like, the second second part of the book is where shit happens. Uh, And, and like, I'm glad that it's going to be in this way and it's it's done effectively. It it looks like we're going to get Again, some of the main story beats uh, in there. Again, I, I think Christopher Walken is going to be a fantastic emperor. Um, but yeah, oh, so no, good. like it's just it's it's it is it's playing out in a way that I'm excited to it. Having you know reread the books recently, and like I think they're doing a very faithful adaptation of it. It's this very clear vision of the director, and you know I, I think he's being as nice as he can with it. it it's it's going to be a good story. It's going to be a lot to it. It's going to be a lot of action, a lot of things happening. Um, but do not expect the same Dune 1. Um, you know, it's it's the stakes are higher in, in this second part of this story. So I, I think it's going to kill. But do you think it make money at the box office? Absolutely. The, the Dune yeah. 1 made money. Yeah, even it's though it was direct to uh, HBO Max, it still made yeah. money. It's Dune 1 still, still made ma- money, yeah. Oh, it was, it was not in the theater? It was over COVID, huh? Yeah, it, it, it was direct to HBO Max, but did go in theaters too. It went both simultaneous oh, release, oh, okay, and it okay. still made money. It still made money. So if that tells you enough, it's a very much a cinematic movie. Like it's better to see in theaters than at home, Absolutely. of course. Absolutely. Like I watched yeah. it at I, home. I, I, and I was, fifteen I was like, oh. times trying to watch it. I'm gonna be honest. The first one's a little tough because it's very slow, but this one looks like, I mean, if the trailers are in the show and like, as Sean's saying, the action's there, it's gonna be fast paced and like the battle is on. I think yeah. Sabrina, what do you think? Are you excited about this at all? I mean, you said you no. fell asleep during it, but but you you, you don't think the second <laughs> one could be any better? 
I mean, based this, off this, this trailer, whole, the love of this trailer. This is things I'm not as excited about, except for Deadpool. Um, I, sh- I, I should call I it think- Sabrina's not excited this episode. Yeah, Brian was like, I made this episode with Sean and Mike in mind. And I'm like, well, I know you didn't make it with me in mind because I hate all of this. Um, <laughs> you get you get no, all the other shows. Come on. No, no, he makes no shows with me in mind. I'm just there. Like, I have to to swallow it. Like, that's what I... The one show he made with me in mind, I couldn't do because I had COVID. So, fuck him. And, uh, no, no, it wasn't even with me in mind. But I'm like, how dare you? These are all things that I would love to talk about. He's like, no, you get to talk about uh, Ahsoka and Dune and the uh, the Alita Rosario lady person. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but, but however, I did watch the trailer. To be fair, I watched the trailer. It was it was actually very good. It made me interested. I, I love Christopher Walken. Uh, he's working harder than a prostitute with two mattresses, uh, to quote him from Outlaws. <laughs> um, I, uh, I, <laughs> I... You haven't seen that show, am, watch that show, The Outlaws. So good. It's so good, The Outlaws. It's, all, it's, it's on Prime, right? Prime, is it? It's on Prime. Is yeah, it? Prime now. I think it's on Prime. Really, Prime, really good Prime, show. Prime. He's on it, and that's one of his lines. It's amazing. Anyway, point being, Dune, uh, I tried to watch three times. I, I won Oscars. I was like, I, I have to watch this. I, Oscar Isaac was in it. I love him. I love, I love Zendaya. Timothy Chalamet, again, very good actor. Like, there's a lot of good people, and I was like, okay, I'm going to watch it. And I just, I, I tried three times. I fell asleep three times. It just reminded me of Star Wars, which I said before, which I know is not an excuse. Um, but I just couldn't get through it, and I, so I gave up. Um, but this did actually look um, very wow. That's alarming. Um, Austin Butler, Austin stabbing oh a bitch. Oh my god! Also, when I watched the thing, I had to look really hard to be like, "That is Austin Butler," you know. But I, but Batista, Batista, excuse me, isn't it? I really love him. Like, I there, it has all of the the makings of things Great that cast. I would like. But I just it just was a really rough time for me to get through the first one. I will try again, and I will watch this if I can get through the first one. <laughs> I, th- I think this one's going to make money for WB. I think it will. I think it'll do really well. Kevin, now where's your back. answer? Come on, Kevin. Kevin the phone's not ringing, Kevin. What, what Kevin the hell? Has to say. Phone, Numbers phone's not ringing, ring, Kevin. The screen. Come on, Kevin. We're waiting for I'm it. Gonna, but I'm going to start giving out honestly, my... Honestly... Um... Sorry. I mean, like the Don't scenery, the way it looks, the cinematography, the acting, everybody involved. Like, I think this is going to be an epic journey that we're just going to want to see. I it's think, at least... Cast. Um, it's got a great, great cast, cast, great yeah. visuals, and I think at the end of the day, it's gonna do well. And maybe it won't. Maybe we are wrong. You know, you know, everyone has their opinions on stuff yeah. and how they feel about it. But we're feeling pretty strong about this here at Cruise Control Central. But th- that's all I'm saying. Um, but honestly, I say watch it. I was excited about this trailer and another trailer that actually it's like trailers been jumping recently, like popping things off, probably because that's they're like, there's a strike looming and a yeah, writer's a strike. strike. So they're like, it, let's yeah. just distract Content's you. still coming. <laughs>